So, yesterday I was asked if uh, Linux Mint is any good for office work. Uh, I don't know if you're a student or work from home and you have a lot of work with documents, whether it's be a PDF, uh, Word documents, and if it's compatible with other PDF and other Word document uh, standards or extensions that other people might have. Let's say you have to file something, whether it be for a company or a court or whatnot. And will your document be compatible and readable to others? My answer is absolutely 1 million percent yes. And not just yes, but yes in a great way. Let's go. This is LibreOffice that I just downloaded, but there is a LibreOffice that comes up with it when you install the uh, operating system on Linux Mint. Uh, you have Office right here. You have LibreOffice Base. You have all these Math, Writer, Writer, which would be the Word, and all this stuff. And when you go to LibreOffice, the standard here, it looks quite similar to Word document. I know these look a little bit different design, but believe me, every single thing you require is there. For example, the standard is 14 point of uh, writing and the normal that would be required for a lot of offices, for example, you would go with Arial, but you would sometimes need Times New Roman, which would be towards the end usually. But in this case, instead of being Times New Roman, you'll see Tibetan machine. It is exactly the same text. And uh, let's see, for example, text, Omni tech, and it looks just like Times New Roman that you would have everywhere else, and blah, 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 all that good stuff. When you go to file, you want to save it as, for example, right here. At the bottom here, you have all the additional file types that you can save it as, for example, Word 97 to 2003, Word 2007, or Word 2010, which is the 365 or the new DOCX that everybody is using. You can do text, just TXT, and as you see, all the elements are absolutely right here, just like you have on your Word document. But let me show you another one that is much more advanced and much more like a word document it's this one right here only office desktop editors and to download it you just have to go to your uh, software where you get the software or software software manager you just type for example only office right here and as you see right here i have it already downloaded we're just gonna go double click it here and it opens really quick it is right here and you can go document spreadsheet presentation or from a different template that you might have or you can open local files that you have word files document files or you have cloud files and now i'm just going to go to a regular document as you see this is a spitting image of microsoft word in design but it is even better than that i mean by miles better than that besides the typing that you can do everything just like you do in microsoft you don't need to sign in as you see omni is just the name of this uh, pc right now and when you go to save it as for example you go to file just like you would do on word save as and right here you scroll down you have the option to now not just save on word docx and all that regular stuff. Now you can save it directly to PDF, regular PDF, or what is the standard PDF that you don't need now to convert it on a different PDF editor and all that, what's called PDF A, which is the standard for most corporations and even government offices that require you to send your document in PDF A. And you just hit it, you sign, save it, and you give it the name and all that. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to save it. But as you see, it is right here. If you go to insert, now you have all the insert stuff that you would have on a regular word. Draw, you can just draw, layout, change the layout, preferences. You have hyperlinks, bookmarks, tables, add text within text, figures, all that good stuff, collaboration. You can track the changes if you're getting the document from somebody else, accept or reject, and all that good stuff. And you can add protection to your document. 
you can view always show rulers you can get rid of the rulers just like you would do on a regular word this is the right panel which would be the stuff right here you can click to bring it up which are, are going to be your margins or line spacing and whatever they call it now but that's the margins how we always call it and here you have the plugins now this part is extremely beautiful i love this part these plugins are directly in you have this thesaurus for example you want to find a synonym word while you're typing let's say you're writing a book or a letter or an essay what not right well let's find a synonym for the word i don't know computer computer hit and uh look up here and as you see computing machine computing device data processor if you click on it it will bring the word right there let me add a test here for example on this side and the next one would be electronic computer boom it adds it right there we're done with this for example you want to go to ocr this document just like you would do for example in adobe acrobat which is quite expensive really good but expensive you'd start the ocr and we don't have much text to go through that but if you had you could load a file you could uh, get from a png or whatever files you might have to recognize the text and you can add it here if you need to and you have a direct translator that you can use within here now i don't have the internet connected to this one so I'm not going to go further with it, but it works. Or you want to send somebody within the document a link or a clickable link or whatever. You grab a video link, paste it right here, click OK, and it will show the actual thumbnail of that video in the document itself. This is absolutely beautiful. This is Draw.io, if you're fami not familiar with it, that you can draw stuff, for example. Let's see, a circle boom 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 you can insert it now to your document and you can change it i don't really care much about it because i'm not a an expert here you can manage your plugins and you can get more plugins and you, as you see here for example you can install chat gpt directly on your uh document that you are editing for example or typing you open chat gpt uh on the side i don't have chat gpt on the web itself you open chat gpt if you need to you can search with it right away and as you see it is very possible to do exactly what microsoft window uh, microsoft office would do for you now let me close this one and let me show you something else pdf because i know that's a big deal being able to edit pdfs cut them and all that good stuff let me open a pdf because starting from blank we know it's just similar to just writing from a word and uh, let me go to my documents and as we see i'm just gonna grab this uh, niccolo machiavelli book uh the prince i'm gonna open it and as you see it's not a problem to open right and we are in just view mode right now but what if i want to add text to this one just click here go with the cursor where you want to add the text and you add the text just like that boom easy now you have fill text you can change that text and change the geometry of the whole paper and if you're better than me on uh, pdf editing you would know exactly what you're looking for right now and it works really really good and pretty much that would be it except for those document editors and writers and all that you have zoom yes it is actually you can uh, download it from the app store and it works right of the box now i don't have a zoom account because i don't really use zoom for what i do i just go with a phone and no need i don't have need for it but if you need zoom you have zoom right here you can figure it out you can sign in sign up and all that stuff that you would need so yes is it good for office work absolutely yes for documents work absolutely yes so if you are anything like me and you want to have a computer that you like but you don't want to spend money to buy thousands of dollars on a new one but you still want to work from home from that computer just install linux mint on it how hard could that be you have everything you ever wanted and with that said i hope you learned something and i hope this video was of value to any of you and we will see you next time thanks for watching bye